Hey, we're going to talk today about what happens in a Y three-phase circuit when you have an open in the line and you have no neutral attached. Now, typically you'll have a neutral, but there are situations when in your Y configuration, you might not have a neutral. So we're going to take a look at what happens to the voltage, the current, and specifically what happens to the power. So let's do it up. All right, just to give us some context here, we have three phases coming in, and you notice with the lightning bolts here, that's a broken line. So what's going to happen here is we have got three loads, because we've got the resistors here, connected in a Y configuration, and it looks like this line here will not be getting current to nor from it. So let's start assigning some values to that. All right, let's start with a 208 volt supply, which is pretty typical. We've got 10 ohm resistive loads. Now, with a broken line here, the 10 ohms doesn't change. So let's just make that one thing clear. I find that happens a lot when I discuss this stuff. Some people think that, oh yeah, we don't have 10 ohms there anymore. Well, 10 ohms is a physical property of the resistive element. So it's going to be there regardless of whether we have voltage or current or not. Now here's where the trick happens. Typically in a three-phase circuit, when you have a Y configuration, your phase voltage is different than your line voltage. So here's our phase voltage of 208. And typically in a three-phase situation, you would normally see 120 volts here and 120 volts here and 120 volts here. But we're no longer in a Y configuration. Basically, for all intents and purposes, this leg is useless. So what we end up having here is 208 volts from this line to this line. I'm sorry, I'm not getting my lines working here. This line to this line. And what will happen is it'll go down through here. And because this is open, it's going to ignore it. And it will go through these loads here. So what we have is two resistors in series with each other. So we are going to end up having, and because they're equal resistances, we're going to get an equal volt drop across each one. So we're going to get 100 volts, 104 volts across this resistor and 104 volts across this resistor. So to figure out our current, we have 208 volts, we have 10 ohms, and we have 10 ohms, So and they're in series, so we're going to add them up together and we get 20 ohms total circuit resistance. 208 volts divided by 20 ohms will give me 10.4 amps line current coming through here. We'll have 10.4 amps. Now we can figure out what the power across being dissipated across each load is. 104 volts times 10.4 amps means that each load will see 1,082 watts of power. And the nice thing about power is, no matter if it's in series or parallel, you can go ahead and add it up. So each one of these is going to be 1,082 watts. So Adding them up, you're going to end up with 2163 watts in this circuit. So in this particular circuit, we're seeing that we are dissipating 2163 watts. And again, this one's dissipating zero watts because it has it's an open at this point, and so nothing will get through. Now let's just for uh, poops and giggles here say that this line wasn't broken. I want to show something that's pretty interesting, I find. Let's say that this line was good. So I don't have it drawn there, but let's just pretend it is. That would mean that I'm seeing 120 volts here, 120 volts here, and 120 volts here. That would also mean that each phase is going to see 12 amps, right? Because we know 120 divided by 10 gets 12. And then in a Y configuration, your current line current and your phase current are the same. So you're going to have 12 amps up on that side too. So we figured out our voltage. We figured out our current. Now we can figure out our power using this formula. E phase times I phase times 3 equals power. So we're going to do that up and we're going to see what we get. We calculate that out 120 times 12 times 3, which is the formula for power in a three phase circuit, gets us 4,320 watts. So with all three legs now, we get 4,320 watts. When this leg was open, we had got 2,163 watts. So again, just to recap, with a line break, you get 2163 watts. With no line break, we're seeing 4320 watts. And if you do the math, that works out to be 50% of what it was before. So with a line break in a Y configuration, your power is going to drop by half. And that's basically all that really has to go through it. That's just kind of a walkthrough of why it's 50%. We'll see that with a with a neutral situation, you end up with 66%. But with a no neutral, with a no neutral, with no neutral, we end up with 50%. Hope that was useful. 
As always, if you're liking these videos, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. It gets the word out. Maybe hit that little notification bell because I try to release a video a week and you don't want to miss them, all this electrical goodness. If you're wanting some more information, you're always welcome to go over to theelectricacademy.com. And if you ever need to reach out and get a hold of me, I am always available at chad at theelectricacademy.com. Stay classy and we'll talk to you soon.